So I dug out my inks that I got from Dollar Store Collections. I just keep hanging on to them even if I wasn't a super big fan. I don't know if you can see the color. So they're not my favorite tones, but actually they're kind of perfect. You never know, right? So taking a little bird's down. Just to start giving those layers of interest, right? When we do mixed media, it really has a tendency to tell that story. I love uh, Willowing Arts with Tamara Laporte. Uh, she's doing her life book summit right now online and I got to participate in a few as much of the lessons as I could absorb while it was free and I love her use of this technique she can braid a ring however I don't have one but I've used a coke can <laughs> just to to make it happen so right now I'm just using the uh, various stamps I have keep it away from the white Maya. But you know what, I mean, if you go over whatever, that might actually be kind of neat. Uh, so I love this stamp. It's a gardening stamp, but I find in any spiritual work, whenever I start talking about it, especially if I start getting into, uh, there's daily chat and then there's spirit chat, right? Like there's just different energy. Anyway, when I get into that headspace, I start getting very gardeny talk anyway, kind of cultivation and planting and growth and embodiment and all that kind of stuff so ugh, it's kind of dusty make sure your stamps are clean I'm just gonna try it out down here mm, that's nice I can't really see it but that's okay I was kind of nervous about trying it but not to know flowers there's are always a good thing so this is supposed to be like a sparkle stamp with some glitter to it I don't know that it's really Translating, you could definitely use white glue on this and paint it on and then stamp it and then spring like I did a lot of that back in the day with Reiki art. Uh, I did a lot of glue down, white glue, and then I would sprinkle it with glitter, let it dry in the symbols, and um, yeah, kind of bring that to the piece. Jane likes to use a rule of three as a warm-up, I found, in her lesson, which was super awesome, but it, what it really reminded me of, and I, I really like saying it, so, is a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, right? So I thought that's a good way to remember it, and then uh, kind of a fun way to remember how to warm up, you know, dancing with your, your patterns, do it in groups of three, and three different sizes, three different places. There's another one, but I'm forgetting. So here's a nice rose. So I'm using my hand, which is not necessarily a good idea because it doesn't necessarily print evenly. I do have a bunch of um, these discs, plastic discs, which are great. I didn't buy them actually for this, but I've seen them used in this fashion. Uh, these came from a, I'm a hairstylist of 20 years, and when we get uh, display kits and cases in and stuff gets recycled, I always had a keen eye for, ooh, you know what? That can be used for art. So, And after a while, when you start doing that, people start realizing that, and then they start holding stuff for you so that you can have it. And it's like, awesome. So here you would stick it on, and then usually it comes off with it, so you're not peeling it, which makes it jitter and smears or pulls, but I'm not super worried about that. I think I wanna try the teal color. Everybody likes teal. Yeah. Light. Video function on this camera doesn't engage when it's on my phone, I guess. So we're working around it. So I'm going to do some. Ooh, yeah. Teal is nice. Snowflake pattern. It's snowing today. Yeah. Let's try. Let's get those edges. Oh, yeah, this is a good here. Stamp. Paint on it. 
it. It's not as uh, light. The blue, the cobalt blue, had a wasn't quite as heavy. This one really, as you can see, thicker. But that's fine. So. I think I want to do one of these. Maybe I would do the bird cage in the red color. I'm kind of avoiding the orange color and have it uh, see if that even works. This is sitting in a kind of jelly way. You could go with uh, combinations in here, right? Why not? You run the risk of mucking up your sponge, so use the dark colors on your sponge last. Would be my suggestion. And then I'm going to stick right here. Oh, nice. See, just sort of subtle. It's there, it's another layer of interest, you know, bring in, tell you the story. I'm going to imagine she is some kind of marsh, <laughs> grasslands princess story. Gets her wings, that's usually my thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at ha ha ha. Stamp of this process at, pro at this stage of it, sorry. So we'll just get it on some lemon there. Okay, we up here. Do you have some of these lovely face stamps, Big Jane? But I don't know if I want to. Obviously these got really warm at some point because they're a little loopy, but I don't think that should be a problem. So maybe what I'll use is the turquoise because that was very heavy. And give me eyebrows. Now if she wasn't loopy, she would stick nicely on here, but that's not going to happen. This may not be a good idea. We'll see. videos is weird. I feel like I've been talking to myself for a while, so I'm kind of glad why it's in the background. Rusted coppery tone. It's a really crazy situation here. These are for my uncle. These are awesome love letters. So I also don't have a printer that works, and my computer died when I moved. So. The thing I love the most about these um, <clears throat> letters is uh, in Tam's work, she goes and does a lot of uh, printed and then transfers from the printer paper onto her canvas, which I think is super cool, but can't do that. So at least with this, I can kind of include sort of a positive message or short 
affirmative kind of wording in there for people to you know discover as they look at the picture uh, as well. So okay, here we go. So I'm going to there she is. Use this. Just you know what? Actually no. usage you can tell so I'll go over here with my so if I wasn't videotaping this and I was by myself I could be Intoning the Reiki power symbol, the emotional symbol, the distance healing symbol. I mean, this is definitely all going on internally, but it's difficult to relate that through video, especially public video, with the uh, kind of respect <coughs> of the material. But, ah, oh, she worked great. So that's the Jane Davenport stamp eyes. I do have lips and a nose. So I'm just going to do it because I already have. So here's I'm going to start the nose. The hardest thing to draw for me, probably for a lot of people, I think. If you overthink it, it's the right direction, right? I am, bud. How are you doing? Good. Did you finish your picture? Yeah. Is it, you want to show me? I, I did. I did it. Oh, that's it? Okay. Perfect. Sorry, bud. Didn't mean to make it sound like that. <laughs> All right, so that is the face. She looks pretty cute. So we'll let her dry, and then I'll go in with some acrylic and have some fun with her hair and just what she will bring to the piece all together. Maybe tidy up my workspace a little bit. Get lids on things, right? Reconnect with Reiki. I think one of the fun things about my experience with Reiki and just the experience is that early on in my training, I was working with friends who were interested and wouldn't mind being attuned, and uh, their kids really wanted to be in the room. And it, it is a very authenticating moment when you're like, all right then, you know, I'm gonna do a whole lot of nothing with my hands, but you're welcome to watch, right? And it just, I'm really glad for the experience because it didn't allow me to critique the whole process I had to get like right into it quick and be as honest with myself as I could because I'm not into lying to kids. So yeah, it was good. I'm grateful for that experience. I think you get the opportunity to talk about Reiki with your kids. I think you should because then it really forces you to, to bring to the surface anything you might not have thought about and uh, realize it there. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. pretty. Let's put Reiki in there. Let's just see it. Ah, 
funny what words get made, right? You can have a little Reiki guide. Hilarity. And if you were doing uh, a Reiki um, for a specific, a lot of people still use it for things like prosperity. Uh, it came to mind because I have a stamp. So I'm not gonna put it in there, but you could. And then let's say it's more about finding answers that you're you're making your art for. Like there's ways to bring that, that uh, instant connection for you into your work and it's always neat to see what impact that'll end up having on, on other people as well. So because I have that layer of matte medium, the paint isn't just totally disappearing into the watercolor. And then it's oil-based, so I've got to let it dry, but it's really fun for a lot of the fine intricate dot work that you see or to um, like I'll do here kind of just follow along the uh, this is where the salt that we used in the wet stage dried and it's a really pretty effect so it's kind of a fun way to draw attention to uh, that it's there bring it into the front this right here actually reminds me kind of like a or something. It's kind of neat. You don't really want to fuss too much and, and deter it, right? It's at the end of the day, you still want it to... Other people are going to see other things, and that's what the fun thing about having art discussions and, and, and sharing art uh, publicly in the way that we do in the modern era is very different than uh, in past generations, so. Make some water. Yeah, see, if this didn't have the Liquitex medium, these white dots would just be completely disappearing. It drove me nuts until I figured out why it is important to seal your layers sometimes in mixed media, right? Trial and error, there's no perfection. I have thrown out, or actually I don't throw out art anymore because it's much easier to use it as art journal paper, right? Which is so much more creative and uh, leaves room for a, a longer dialogue with your spirit, right? You can pick up something you weren't sure what it was, say back in the earlier part of your evolution and revisit it later and it totally makes it a new kind of um, sense right and, and that, that 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 right there is regeneration right revisiting it being revitalized by it so I'm gonna use Jane Davenport's Coral Sea. These are also paint pens. I'm just uh, with her lips some definition. I have a darker red one that I'm going to go over the bottom lip with, but just to keep it from looking transparent, you can do more than one layer. some attention to my diva dans bar. I'm going to use some of the deeper glittery blue and just sort of stamp in some kind of shapes there. I really like to make it white, so if I want to do that, what I can do is grab a little bit of white acrylic 
paint pen because it is oil and it will stick to the plastic and I don't even know then if it would paint. open some acrylic. Use a really skinny brush and uh, bring some color to the eye there. Dark color. is sort of the personal element of Reiki art. This, this here has nothing to do with <laughs> healing per se. Uh, it's pleasing to me to look at, but that doesn't mean medicine doesn't have to taste good going down. So some art can heal without having to be your favorite genre. And I think I've had enough experience, especially through hair, with recognizing it. It feel like you just it's true you just do know it and it came once when I was doing um, a woman with curly hair and we had put mousse in and we were scrunching it as we were driving and I mean I had already done hair for probably about 16 years at this point so there's a whole lot that I hadn't seen but we both looked up at the same time and it was like oh my god it was like the perfect product for her hair we could totally see that it was responding way better and looked amazing just instantly and that's when you know for fear your own reference if you come across that in a, in a hair moment buy that product that is that is a real deal that is when your hair that is the right the right thing to use so I have now a kind of a, a barometer of when I can tell something is it and I mean not all of my art is it but you gotta keep doing it. Especially for me, that's just my nature. Not necessarily maybe for everybody, but I, if I'm not doing it, then I'm not gonna pick up what I can get. So to me, it's, it's, it is a daily meditation. However, I have been working to make meditation more of a meditation too, because I have to be honest, sometimes it's just more fun to art and it's, there's not necessarily a stillness in my head as I do it. And uh, I think I owe it to my to give it space, right? So I have been working on a more formal meditation and I do like it. I've been reading Carolyn Miss's uh, Entering the Castle, which explores St. Teresa Villa's work about 
prayer and making um, your soul, your castle, uh, to divinity. Well, not your own divinity, but to God, right? To what courses through us all. The lack of a desire to get any anyone grisly. All right, looking for a marker for the eyes. This one's brown, but it has that tip, so I don't get too stiff. And the nice thing about mixed media is just keep going. There is a lot of stages I'm sure people watching my videos and go, no, stop now. And trust me, there's lots of times where I'm like, son of a god, should have stopped then. But this isn't about perfection or getting it right or, you know, I like looking at each piece and, and kind of hearing the story from my subconscious about how that came, came to be. Chain stamps are great because you don't have to necessarily paint right over it. I mean, keep it as a part of the art. I thought it was neat. I took a, a painting class recently and they mentioned that there's two types of artists. People are uh, you know, strokes pulling in and pushing out and everybody kind of gravitates to one and, and I thought, no, 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 yeah, no, I do, I guess. I prefer pulling towards a thing and starting out rather than this way. I find that uh, the motion is more continuous on my hand, whereas when I'm doing this, uh, something about the motion stalls out at the end and then I'm not uh, as happy as uh, where the line came from. If that makes a lick of sense. Yeah, so she's there, but she's not there, right? I'm not looking to make the whole picture about her. She's just sort of a, an element for you to discover as you journey through. to integrate into to art, but when you got a rainbow going, it makes it a little simpler. Now, you can incorporate some direct Reiki if you like. This is a good way to do it. Matching color so it's just sort of part of the background and not, uh, and not in the forefront, right? 